Annyeonghaseyo. So today I'm going to be making a nice little video showcasing one of my favorite meals to make. Uh, this is what I usually make during lunch times. It is my creme de la creme, voulez-vous de combattant? These are delicious, okay? And I've made these enough times in order to have this much pride in them. They're not only tasty and nutritious, but they also look pretty, which is how I like my food and other things. So, as always, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the content or the video or even the channel itself. Every like helps. And it's always nice knowing that you guys are there supporting me. Uh, leave a comment section below and let me know what meals you like to prepare before we get through this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as your support means the world to me. And the feedback that I get from you guys is always what I use to generate more videos and to make things more interesting and entertaining. So with that being said, let's get to it. Cooking. All right, so I first start off by heating some oil in the pan. I tend to put between 15 to 20 grams of oil depending on uh, the amount of ingredients I'm going to be using. After that, I start slicing and dicing all the ingredients that you can see here, starting off with the mushrooms and then uh, either the onions or the green peppers. As you can see here, the chopping speed is real. I am not playing around. All right, so after I've done chopping uh, the primary first three ingredients I just chuck them into the microwave for one minute or one minute thirty depending on how cold they are and after they've been heated up you know after they're a little bit warmer I take them out and I chuck them into the pan but uh, while this is happening I am slicing and dicing the tomatoes and the hot chili peppers which I use uh, for this chili chicken and cheese wrap. And here's the mixture and I'm just starting to mix up all the ingredients as you can see. Just making sure that everything is just nicely mixed together and that all the flavors are, you know, well saturated together you want that and um you know that smoke that you're seeing there is actually quite choking um i might, I might, I might wear a mask next time i'm cooking because the the hot chilies are just something else like honestly it's hard to cook but i'm used to, but i'm used to it so yeah and this here is the frozen chicken that i use when I am preparing this meal. Here you go, is a closer look. Yeah, so it's always frozen because I prepare it in advance. And all I need to do is just microwave it so that it thaws out and is ready for cooking. And once that's done, I just chuck it in the pan. And there's the cheese that I use for the wraps. Again, I microwave that as well. And once that's done, I open it up just to make sure that there you go you can see the steam open it up and prepare it for the kale so at this point the chicken and the mixed vegetables are already complete they're done cooking and the kale you put it in the wraps and you press it real hard just to make sure that it flattens out nicely otherwise you're gonna have a really thick wrap that's hard to um you know that that's hard to deal with when it comes to wrapping it up and eating so this is just something I've learned over time to do I mean, it's good practice really and there you go nicely pressed fresh delicious kale my daily routine and 
there is the chicken and vegetables all together just putting it all in mm. Mm -mm. and there's the final meal ta-da bon appetit so finally it's time to eat um, on average it takes me about 35 to 45 minutes max uh, to prepare this. Um, I can't wait to dig in. Uh, I got it all wrapped up, looking tasty and delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Mm. Very delicious. I always have it with some lemon honey and ginger tea. Ah. Mm. 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 So in terms of describing its taste, um, it's like a general chicken wrap except with a lot more vegetables, although uh, these vegetables aren't as thick and hard as most uh, places where they serve like wraps or burritos rather like you saw with the kale it's very nice slim slender after it's been microwaved it adds a bright vibrant touch uh, to the whole package as you saw when i was preparing it and uh, in terms of overall taste you know what is this amalgamation of vegetables and chicken you know with a touch of ketchup taste like uh, out of 10, I would give it um, mm, 8.8, 8.8 on average, going as high as a 9.6. Like when I make this, there's some days where I make this and it's just like, oh my gosh, it just tastes like magic. It's mind blowing. That's the days where it's 9.6. Right now, it's an 8.8. .8. It is absolutely delicious. It is tasty. It is not too crunchy. It's very easy to eat. Um, healthy as well. And uh, the diverse range of colors and taste and nutritional aspects of this make it all the more uh, merrier. I wish I could share it with you guys, but uh, maybe that will have to be for next time. But what you can do though is share this video with others if you want to help promote this channel and help uh, me grow so I can make more videos like this for you guys. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this meal. I can't wait to dig in. It's been a long day, <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed the content as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you like to make. Once again, just in case you're still around, I know some people drop off after the first two minutes, but again, let me know what you like to make and uh, any suggestions you may have for me to make this even better than it already tastes. Again, this was my spicy chicken and cheese wrap. Mwah! I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.